little bit ugly, stir things up a bit, and well, we don't want um, anyone hurt by being too close to the fence. Away we go. We're away in racing, and the 29 and 62 lead us away as we head down to turn one. The 79 stays on the picks. Everybody's backing up, of course, they can't hit the cars behind them. As we have McSherry into the back of Jones. Jones fires the 29 car net. That car looks super loose on any given night. He's managed to get through and open up a bit of a gap on McSherry. So Krasich in the lead at the moment. And he will come round and pick up the 46 car of Sean Andrew, who will go straight in behind the 29 for blocking purposes. And Jones can see it. He knows he's got to get there. Dave McSherry's coming in hot. And Sean Andrews has got out of the way. He saw his race leader coming through, reading the mirrors beautifully. Okay, so, Sean Andrews lets McSherry go through, and McSherry's about to get picked up here by the Falcon, and Kyle Woffa gets taken and put round. And that will put Matt Peterson in the second spot. They have to avoid the spinning car of McSherry, and Sean Andrews there. Look at the 29 car, it's leading and he's got real slow. He's waiting for somebody to come and help him. The 27 car is spun, so the 27 car will move into a block mode for the 29. So the Christchurch boys just picking it nicely. Paul Leslie will see what's happening. And I'd say Mike Jones will just give him the hurry up and he'll tuck himself in behind the 29 car. Sean Andrew looking to create some chaos as is Tom McSherry down the front straight as the 98 car gets him through the infield. As we go to the other end of the track, Sean Andrews has got chaos and he's put two Nelson cars together. And Tom McSherry flicks the 99 to the infield. Braden Skew looking up the inside, gives the rub up of the, the 79 of Skew. He's gonna have Paul Leslie give him the big heave ho. Or will he? Tom McSherry holding the 97 car. There we go, Skur gets flicked around, race leader goes through, he pulls in behind her, Matt Peterson tucks in as well, so Tom mcsherry has been charged with disposing of the 97, Paul Leslie's going to come through here and Sean Andrews isn't going to be in the mix here. So the Christchurch running first and second, doing beautifully to protect their race leaders, They've, Matt Peterson gives the 29 a bit of a hurry up, Tom McSherry into and so this is where it gets confusing there's a whole bunch of red and black cars now the first car that gets you is not going to be the race leader but you don't necessarily know that so the Christchurch team running in formation Sean Andrew just dropping back 61 dropping back these guys the 99 there looking to create some chaos the 29 puts Matt Peterson through so these guys so he's the bulldozer. Matt Peterson's the bulldozer, and 29 still the leader. Well, we've still got Paul Leslie there and Sean Andrew covering the rear flanks. So don't be surprised if you see 433 and 29 pull up to the wall and let the 27 come through if they need to. Sean Andrew's on the brakes. He is creating a little. The 79 here of Skur is going to get a bit of a, a razzle up from the 433. And he does, he gets into the back, and the 97 flung around the 433, puts the 79 around and, and puts some, they're watching, they're looking across the track. They know they've got about half a track of clear air, so they can just, white flag is out. And it is going to be an interesting one. Jones goes through, Matt Peterson goes through, Paul Leslie goes through. Oh, a lot of smoke there, or dust off the 79 car, the 9 car of Musgrove getting a little bit of treatment from Sean Andrew. As the 99 getting in there, but our Matt Peterson, he's eyed up. Well, he's just going to go through it. No, we're going to race it out. The checkered goes out for the 433 of Matt Peterson, and we're just going to limp it home. Bring it home in one piece. The more you can get home without wrecking, the more points you get. Christchurch first and second. And we just wait for the checker as it's unfilled. It's unfilled now for the balance of the pack as they clear it through. That was pretty strategic there from the Canterbury team. Tony. Very strategic. That's textbook racing. I mean, they're not going out to wreck each other. That'll happen in the final race of the night. Don't uh, don't mind that. It will happen, but not in this uh, early stage. So the way it goes at the moment, Matt Peterson took the hundred points for Canterbury. Uh, Mike Jones in the 29 car took the 30 points for second place. Nelson picked up 20 for Ryan Musgrove and 15 for Dave McSherry. Paul Leslie came home fifth for Christchurch with another 10 points. And Neville Soper in the 98 car came home sixth. 
to collect the last five points. So that would put Canterbury on 140 points so far. And we'll give you all the final points at the end of the night, but um, that's a, a very good start from, as you say, a very strategic, very tactical Canterbury Cobras team. They uh, they knew exactly who was in the lead, what they had to do to protect that leader. Um, they didn't want to go out and wreck their cars, but they did enough to keep the Nelson cars away from their leaders. Well, interesting observation here. No street stocks on the infield. No. You don't finished. even get that on a club night where you're not hitting. <laughs> um, very true. Very and true. it was an interesting... Uh, that they just were strategic, they're pushing it around. Of course, these cars do require a lot of work when you start hitting. And uh, one or two of them got the like, back into Sean Andrews' car is, uh, there's a bit of a tweak and a crease in it, but they can fix that up. Nothing that, that can't be uh, sorted out, absolutely. So that was uh, Challenge WiMAC bringing us the first heat of the Street Stock State of Origin. Next up on uh, your program, it's the time trials for the wingless modifieds brought to us. Sign painting contractors are perfect for all your painting needs. They cover residential, commercial and public buildings and can sort out any specialist finishes that you may require. Check out their website today, www.brown-sign.co.nz. Christchurch Glass is the team to call for all your glazing requirements. Double glaze existing or new windows and save. From broken windows to new splashbacks and more, contact Christchurch Glass for a free quote www.christchurchglass.co.nz So out on the track come our wingless modifieds. They're exactly the same cars that you're used to seeing here in modified races at Coke and Tools.